Hey everybody, welcome to Create Your Health. My name is Peter Bedard, and in a moment we're going to be sitting down with Julie Solomon. Julie is a three-in-one concepts facilitator. I don't even know what that is, but in a moment we're going to go find out. Let's go inside. Julie, what is 3-in-1 Concepts? 3-in-1 Concepts actually stands for Body, Mind, Spirit. What do you mean by the one? What are the actual concepts of 3-in-1? The concepts are really methods that are used. Um, and they're pulled from kinesiology, from acupressure points, um, aromatherapy, crystals. We use all different kinds of methods to uh, balance the body. The body is a perfect machine. We have everything that we need. We have, we're an internal pharmacy, mm -hmm. but when it gets out of balance is when, you know, problems will present themselves. And a lot of times it could be physical, but most times it's emotional. You said the body is its own pharmacy. What does that mean? We have uh, everything that we need to heal ourselves. We have everything that we need to be complete, in balance, and happy, healthy, and whole. So something happens to you and it's stored in the body? If you haven't dealt with something, if you haven't actually processed an emotion, it will present in the body in the form of headaches, backaches, stuttering, you name it. So what you're doing is breaking the connection between the source and the, the illness? We're, we're playing detectives. So something happened at five and we keep asking questions. Was it your family? Was it this? Was it that? And finally put together a simple framework. And again, usually when you hit the age, it's amazing. It bubble right up into the conscious from the body, whoop, right mm -hmm. up to the conscious mind. And you'll realize what it, you know, what it was. I just want to show you how this, how this works in the muscle circuitry. So um, your muscles are holding strong right here. I'm not pushing on them. I'm just basically, you know, you know, got my fingers on you. Mm -hmm. So I want you to concentrate and think about something that makes you very stressed out. I know, okay. It's a fun thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just think about that. So you can see the muscles will fall away. Mm -hmm. And they go weak. Mm -hmm. It's so a that really is how, interesting feeling. Yeah, so that is how we test. Julie, tell me a little bit more about some of the things that you ask people to do to facilitate their healing. We're going to test polarity. So you breathe in one nostril. And then you breathe in this nostril. All right, so you're blown out there, which means that the uh, polarity in your body is just a little off. So the right and left brain hemisphere, believe it or not. So we're going to do this three so times. So breathing from one side is how yeah. you can test the, the hemispheres mm -hmm. of the brain? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, if, if you're not uh, balanced pol polarity-wise, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it'll register through the nose, believe it huh. or not. So what you do is you cover your navel. With the other right? hand? Mm -hmm, with okay. one hand. Okay. And then you're going to go to your K27 meridian. This is the largest meridian that runs through the body. Uh -huh. Okay, and you're just going to rub and breathe. And this is a wonderful thing to do when you're really stressed out. Then again, with the hand over the navel. Okay. Okay. This is your central meridian, governing meridian. Mm -hmm. So you rub those. Mm -hmm. And just breathe. And again, it looks kind of funny, but it does its job. It's a whole lot of meridians and nerves in there. Mm -hmm. So you just hold your navel mm -hmm. and rub back there and breathe. So then we would go into a session. We would talk about the issue. We would right. actually, you know, discuss it find out where we are on the barometer that used to be there. <laughs> we would actually go okay. into the session after, okay. you know, doing all the preliminary testing, getting mm -hmm. your energies into balance so uh -huh. that we can go deeper. Okay. And we would talk, we would sit and talk about the issue, mm -hmm. and then we would ask in present time where you are on the barometer okay. and find out if there's any emotions attached to this very moment. Then we just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay. And then we ask, you know, questions of the body and the body continues to get biased.